Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a quick little project share using some of these like slim style dies. These ones are from Andy's store on AliExpress and I was gonna play with more and my cutting plate for my cuddle bug literally snapped in half. I was like, uh oh, so much for that. This is a, it says happy birthday in the big die. And then look how cute it has these three little balloons, it has the strings, and then it has the word hip hip hooray as well, along with this wonky stitched rectangle. And it comes with three nesting dies. So this is what I made. I used that new Simple Stories birthday paper collection. Um, I got a little kit from KG Crafts online. I don't know if she still has any available, but I'll link it down below if she does. I went ahead and stitched it, did some paper tearing with three different papers because I did get the um, six by eight paper pad. So this is much larger than eight inches. So I didn't have, I had to split it up into three and then do some, you know, techniques to make it look like I had enough paper. Literally, I just got a piece of cardstock, folded it in half to make it like a card. And when you open it, that's where the square is. I need to line this in white, but I don't have white cardstock with me. I did the hip hip hooray. I puffed that up on that thick five millimeter foam from Hobby Lobby. And then I did the little balloons. This super cute, like, look at that. Acetate holographic um, pink, blue, and then a lighter pink are from KG Crafts as well. She has them in the single sheets. And then this is actually a chipboard piece from this paper collection. I added him after the fact, but I just added some string to make it look like the string goes all the way down. But he kind of looks like a balloon. I added little sequins to him. Super cute. Love the way that this turned out. There's some chipboard stickers down at the bottom as well. And then this is the perfect with if it's money, dollar bills. <laughs> this one, I wanted to make a shaker because it does come with this inner piece. And instead of like, you know, twisting and cutting these out of this, this big giant rectangle. I left them like that. I used a Sweet Story paper um, by Maggie Holmes for this one. And I just made a cute little, I puffed it up on that five millimeter foam and then put little shaker bits in there, use some acetate. And then one little like epoxy style thicker on the very front, hey sugar, super cute. And then I'm just gonna get like a white a uh, piece of paper and fold that in a square just like I did with this one to make the card base for that. All right, and that is all that I got to play with before my stuff took a kerplunk on me. And I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye guys.